널 만난 건 해군이야. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities as Kiev marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. A BBC correspondent says the mood is bleaker than a year ago, with Kiev losing territory and military aid being delayed. There have been tributes from world leaders, but President Zelensky says what's really needed is more weapons. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who've been on strike now for a week unless they return to work by Thursday. A health minister said they could be suspended for three months. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move. The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low, despite it having spent billions on initiatives to encourage women to have more children. The country's birth rate, or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, dropped to 0.72 last year. Despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work. They walked out last week in protest against a decision to increase the number of medical school places. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities as Kiev marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. A BBC correspondent says the mood is bleaker than a year ago, with Kyiv losing territory and military aid being delayed. There have been tributes from world leaders, but President Zelensky says what's really needed is more weapons. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities as Kyiv marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. A BBC correspondent says the mood is bleaker than a year ago, with Kyiv losing territory and military aid being delayed. There have been tributes from world leaders, but President Zelensky says what's really needed is more weapons. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities as Kyiv marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. A BBC correspondent says the mood is bleaker than a year ago, with Kyiv losing territory and military aid being delayed. There have been tributes from world leaders, but President Zelensky says what's really needed is more weapons. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities. As Kyiv marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. As Kyiv marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. As Kyiv marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities as Kyiv marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities as Kyiv marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities as Kyiv marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. A BBC correspondent said A BBC correspondent said a BBC correspondent said the mood is bleaker than a year ago. The mood is bleaker than a year ago. The mood is bleaker than a year ago. With Kyiv losing territory and military aid being delayed. With Kyiv losing territory and military aid being delayed. With Kyiv losing territory and military aid being delayed. A BBC correspondent says the mood is bleaker than a year ago, with Kyiv losing territory and military aid being delayed. A BBC correspondent says the mood is bleaker than a year ago, with Kyiv losing territory and military aid being delayed. A BBC correspondent says the mood is bleaker than a year ago, with Kyiv losing territory and military aid being delayed. There have been tributes from world leaders. There have been tributes from world leaders. There have been tributes from world leaders. But President Zelensky says. But President Zelensky says. But President Zelensky says. What's really needed is more weapons. What's really needed is more weapons. What's really needed is more weapons. There have been tributes from world leaders, but President Zelensky says what's really needed is more weapons. There have been tributes from world leaders, but President Zelensky says what's really needed is more weapons. There have been tributes from world leaders, but President Zelensky says what's really needed is more weapons.
There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities as Kiev marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. A BBC correspondent says the mood is bleaker than a year ago, with Kiev losing territory and military aid being delayed. There have been tributes from world leaders, but President Zelensky says what's really needed is more weapons. Question. How long has it been since Russia invaded Ukraine? The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who have been on strike now for a week unless they return to work by Thursday. A health minister said they could be suspended for three months. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who have been on strike now for a week unless they return to work by Thursday. A health minister said they could be suspended for three months. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who have been on strike now for a week unless they return to work by Thursday. A health minister said they could be suspended for three months. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who have been on strike now for a week. Who have been on strike now for a week. Who've been on strike now for a week, unless they return to work by Thursday, unless they return to work by Thursday, unless they return to work by Thursday. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who've been on strike now for a week, unless they return to work by Thursday. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who've been on strike now for a week, unless they return to work by Thursday. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who have been on strike now for a week unless they return to work by Thursday. A health minister, a health minister, a health minister. They could be suspended for three months. They could be suspended for three months. They could be suspended for three months. A health minister said they could be suspended for three months. A health minister said they could be suspended for three months. A health minister said they could be suspended for three months. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who have been on strike now for a week unless they return to work by Thursday. A health minister said they could be suspended for three months. Question: How long could the doctors be suspended for? The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted. With Hungary finally giving its approval. With Hungary finally giving its approval. With Hungary finally giving its approval. After a delay of more than a year. After a delay of more than a year. After a delay of more than a year. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move.
The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move. Question. How many countries have ratified Sweden's application to join NATO? The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low, despite it having spent billions on initiatives to encourage women to have more children. The country's birth rate, or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, dropped to 0.72 last year. The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low, despite it having spent billions on initiatives to encourage women to have more children. The country's birth rate, or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, dropped to 0.72 last year. The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low, despite it having spent billions on initiatives to encourage women to have more children. The country's birth rate, or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, dropped to 0.72 last year. The South Korean government says... The South Korean government says... The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low. Its birth rate has fallen to a record low. Its birth rate has fallen to a record low. Despite it having spent billions on initiative, despite it having spent billions on initiative, despite it having spent billions on initiative to encourage women to have more children, to encourage women to have more children to encourage women to have more children. The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low, despite it having spent billions on initiatives to encourage women to have more children. The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low, despite it having spent billions on initiatives to encourage women to have more children. The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low, despite it having spent billions on initiatives to encourage women to have more children. The country's birth rate, or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, the country's birth rate, or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, the country's birth rate, or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, dropped to 0.72 last year dropped to 0.72 last year dropped to 0.72 last year the country's birth rate or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime dropped to 0.72 last year the country's birth rate or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime dropped to 0.72 last year the country's birth rate or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime dropped to 0.72 last year. The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low, despite it having spent billions on initiatives to encourage women to have more children. The country's birth rate, or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, dropped to 0.72 last year. Question. What's the birth rate of Korea in 2023? Despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work. They walked out last week in protest against a decision to increase the number of medical school places. Despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work. They walked out last week in protest against a decision to increase the number of medical school places. Despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work. They walked out last week in protest against a decision to increase the number of medical school places. Despite the threat of legal action, despite the threat of legal action, despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order. Junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order. Junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work, to return to work, to return to work.
Despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work. Despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work. Despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work. They walked out last week. They walked out last week. They walked out last week. In protest against a decision. In protest against a decision. In protest against a decision. To increase the number of medical school places. To increase the number of medical school places. To increase the number of medical school places. They walked out last week in protest against a decision to increase the number of medical school places. They walked out last week in protest against a decision to increase the number of medical school places. They walked out last week in protest against a decision to increase the number of medical school places. Despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work. They walked out last week in protest against a decision to increase the number of medical school places. Question. When did junior doctors walk out? There have been further Russian attacks on Ukrainian cities as Kiev marks the second anniversary of President Putin's full-scale invasion. A BBC correspondent says the mood is bleaker than a year ago, with Kiev losing territory and military aid being delayed. There have been tributes from world leaders, but President Zelensky says what's really needed is more weapons. The South Korean government has threatened to punish doctors who've been on strike now for a week unless they return to work by Thursday. A health minister said they could be suspended for three months. The last barrier to Sweden becoming a member of NATO has been lifted, with Hungary finally giving its approval after a delay of more than a year. All 30 other members of the military alliance had already ratified the move. The South Korean government says its birth rate has fallen to a record low, despite it having spent billions on initiatives to encourage women to have more children. The country's birth rate, or number of children a woman is expected to have in her lifetime, dropped to 0.72 last year. Despite the threat of legal action, junior doctors in South Korea have so far defied a government order to return to work. They walked out last week in protest against a decision to increase the number of medical school places.